right there. Butler, and what he does is their three-man game and three-man guard action caught off the three-point line. Then click it on all cylinders. Big change in the Indiana starting lineup. Justin Holiday yeah. into that, and the reasoning why in a moment we're ready to tip it off here is we are underway a little bit later, but essentially he is ready to play today if his number is called. And starting just like the defensive player came late and looked for that. This team gets open shots for their players. Robinson made seven threes in game two. Problem for Indiana with Brogdon, with Oladipo. Turner gets the bounce. In game two. But, but with this team, and, and again, no Sabonis, you're going to have to find more guys to get involved early. Jimmy Butler gets... Here's Brogdon with Robinson on him. Kicks it. T.J. Warren passes up a three. Shot clock at eight. And Warren hits. Have guys that can get their own shots. So you're going to have to make sure you take your time, not be frustrated, but more importantly, get easy fast break points to stay in the game. Just like that, Oladipo. In impressive fashion, the Orlando Magic to take a 2-1 series lead there. As Goran Dragic steals right now for Indiana, they're going to have to manufacture offense through their defense and get some quick ones. And you can only do that getting a stop and running with it. Another three, though. Mm, defensively than we have been. Great ball movement here. A signature of the Miami Heat. They get a lot of passes. I'll do it on the defensive end. And in the stat sheet, telling you with steals, uh, Indiana's come out to play. Out of bio, going strong against Turner. <laughs> so she makes good points all game long, but she's exactly right. And the thing is, when you're on a team like this, you just want to win because they'll unleash them come another round just like this. That's the other part of this. What is the urgency? What is the energy level for the Pacers in this environment? It would normally be a Heat home game here as a three. Back to the start of the fourth quarter of game two have made 10 of their last 13 three-point tries inside. Out. Speaking of inside the nba and the and the crew and all that indiana has to deal with that's the mm, sweet these players feel it they know they have to do a little bit more and miami fully expecting a big response from the pacers today oladipo knocks another one down nice setup there by steve novak in oconomowoc wisconsin shot clock is low here down to three and a quick pass into jimmy butler all they can to try to Hang in there, and it'll be good to see him just for their morale, if for nothing else. Samson knocks down a nice... Indiana just trying to get a little more balanced offensively. A lot of dribbling with their three guards. This time it works as T.J. Warren delivers. It works, and it's good because T.J. Warren is really playing hard, but it's also fool's gold. Anytime you just keep shooting over double teams, it, it just can't last. It, it just can't continue to last because... Another three-pointer is up and good. The switch on the perimeter to stop three-point shooting. That's why this smaller lineup is in. Dragic fires a three. He is fouled and count it. Dragic that killer crossover. He's a lefty. Goes with a strong hand. Finishes at the rim. That is a key for Indiana. Miami makes it hard enough on you as it is. But playing out of the net. Miami making a lot of shots. Nice a Great basketball family. Great on and off the court, all of them. So here's Iguodala, got to put up a long three. Are you kidding me? <laughs> With the shot clock winding down, Iguodala hits a 30-footer. Wow. Seven of ten from behind the arc. There's a good answer. Dragic, sidestep and block from behind. Holiday got a piece. What do you know? Hands up on defense on the three-point line. Good things can happen. Justin didn't give up on the play. Now Aaron finishes on the other end. And you heard Jared's report about Sabonis. He's back. One of the areas that Indiana thrived as Dragic gets a challenging three-point shooters. Indiana, the sixth-rated defensive team in the NBA. Hero hits a three. Enough of a clip and have enough talent in their shooting core that it's going to be a difficult answer for them is Turner at four on offense Nate McMillan said he's had to do a complete reversal without Sabonis in there. there's another three-pointer down Dragic that way for Indiana heat check for Dragic Oladipo trying to push it Miami gets back Oladipo splits two defenders and scores that Eric Spolstra knowing that Dragic could easily and very seamlessly go into the starting lineup and contribute there as well as they would have had it without 
the veteran leadership of someone like that, so coachable. I mean, you think about all these habits are built in practice. Those type of passes. The, the five seed, but the bubble means no home court advantage. Warren, boy, good finish. High arc at 30, and his team is down. He has the license to just let it fly and take bad shots. Not doing that, playing within the offense. Catch and shoot, Duncan Robinson. Hero, little runner in the lane, short. Brogdon away from the pack. Good job by Turner getting back defensively. Oladipo finishes at the rim. Five in the first three games, or two and a half games of this series in points. In the three-point shooting category, it's just been a push here at the end of this first half. They need something good to happen. Jay Crowder for three, set up by Butler, and another one is in the post and created a shot for someone else. Here's Oladipo for three. He's got it. Victor Oladipo had to believe that his quad isn't 100%, and he hasn't told me that. That's just what I think, and. That's why I just admire his heart, just like I admire the heart and coach. I, I wouldn't, you know, 80%, I'm 100% I'm coach, but you have to, you know, protect your players, but also as a player, you got to try to find the Indiana cannot convert. Here's Bam on his way, and it's blocked by Turner. That's his second block. Turner's got 10 blocks in this series, and it turns into it. So disruptive, even those little moments. It may take one or two seconds. So disruptive, though, and to the right hand goes Brogdon for a Miles Turner. Last chance here for Miami. Dragic take it himself. He springs free. Did he get off in time? Count the basket, says Tony Brothers. They will certainly look at this, but Dragic, boy, with that internal clock, knew exactly where he was. They scored it as good on the floor. Did he get it off? He did. That's going to count. Goran Dragic, what a first.